Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing cam shaft bearings on my Vortec Chevy 350 880 block. If you take a look here, the tool that I'm going to use, I got from Speedway Motors, and it's Chevy small block specific. The cam bearings that I'm using, the Clevite cam bearings, please make sure you notice these numbers and the position the cam bearings go in. I didn't know this. I thought that the cam bearings are oriented in the box as they go into the block. This is not always the case. The cam bearing that I'm currently picking up has the two holes in it, the two oiling holes, and I thought that that was cam bearing number one, the front of the engine, so they go in. Likewise. Now, taking a look at the old cam bearings, they match up. But this is not always the case. Cam bearings 1 through 5 do not always match the cam bearings 1 through 5 in the box. Double check the part numbers as indicated on the box that you get. Because I didn't know this information, because I stumbled across this information when I was watching um, someone build an engine on a TV program called uh, Power Nation, I now have to go back uninstall my cam bearings and reinstall new ones so moving on with the video the information in the video um, goes and, and is applicable uh, regardless of whether or not the bearings are installed correctly or incorrectly the process is the same uh, please just make sure that the cam bearings match up with the location that they're supposed to go in the block. And uh, if my research stands correct, the bearing number five is towards the rear main seal and bearing number one is towards the front of the engine. Um, I oriented my bearings with the oiling holes in the four o'clock position. Again, my research indicated that uh, because of higher spring pressure, that the four o'clock position or about 120 degrees from uh, the 12 o'clock position would suit oiling the best. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> 